Introducing Maya. Maya is your always on workforce of virtual engineers. With Maya, you can deliver data faster and automate the repetitive work, achieving significant productivity gains that would typically take 10 times longer manually, leaving your engineering team to put their expertise and their time to better use. Maya is an agentic AI platform that can help you build pipelines for data engineering and also augment existing pipelines you already have. Let's see how Maya works. In this example, we'll be working for a synthetic company called GreenWave, and we will act as a data engineer for that company. In our example, GreenWave is a major importer of fresh produce, but there is a problem with the weather. There's a cyclone happening in real time. We need to understand how this cyclone will affect our business. We're going to use Maya to analyze the impact of that incoming storm front on your shipping goods and forecasting. We already have a JIRA ticket outlining what we need to do. Find out which routes are affected and how much they will be delayed. So Maya will need to update an existing pipeline to account for this impact of the cyclone. To get this data, we're going to need to connect to a weather API and get the data we need into our data warehouse. Here we have the weather API documentation where there are endpoints that we want to ingest data from. Maya can build out a connection to the API using just the API documentation URL, meaning we can copy the URL from our browser straight into Maya. So let's move over to the custom connector section of the data productivity cloud. You will be greeted by Maya, where we can paste in the documentation link for any REST API source. We'll paste in the link from the weather API. And now Maya will build out the connector for us in real time. As you can see already, Maya has found four operations. Out of these, let's select get weather, list C regions, and list C routes. Now we will need a REST API key to authenticate against this. So let's paste in our REST API key here into the custom connector. Maya is then able to use the REST API profile to connect to our selected endpoints and bring back a sample of what the data looks like at this point. Now we're going to use that newly created connector to bring in the weather API data into our pipeline. To instruct Maya on what needs to be done, we'll copy the text of the JIRA ticket and paste that query directly into Maya. Maya can take this text request and start building out the answers that we need. Maya will show its thought process for how it's going to update the existing pipeline you have in your star schema layer, which takes in the new tables being brought in from the REST API connector. It's important to note that while the end goal remains consistent, the specific choices Maya makes in its thought process may vary with each run. Here we are prompted to accept for session or accept once. By choosing accept for session, we're giving permission to Maya to sample the data for the session, which gives Maya a contextualized understanding of the data it's dealing with. Maya is then able to identify the components it's looking to use and will bring our two new data sources into an existing pipeline. So here inside that pipeline, let's see how Maya has got on. You can see that Maya has added the two tables, one for weather input and one for sea regions. It's now currently splitting out the sea regions. So Maya intelligently knows where to make a split on particular fields inside of that table. And then it's going to think about where it joins these two new tables into the existing pipeline. Maya has also added calculator components. Maya is now also asking whether we will allow it to run the pipeline, where again, we will accept for the whole session. And here we can see a summary of Maya's actions so far. Great, the pipeline is successfully updated to account for weather delays. Let's summarize what's been done. A component has been added to read the data. The subregions have been split into individual regions and the regions have been joined together to identify weather delays for each group. It's calculated the weather adjusted transport delays and the days saved by air. 
Now we'll select the calculator components and generate documentation to look at what these last three calculator components are doing. Maya is able to generate on the fly information for your data engineering team, telling us what SQL has been generated and where the KPIs are being created. And it's easy enough to add these notations to the canvas. Maya is also intelligent enough to know that you need to commit these changes and push these out to production. This greatly enhances your data ops capabilities within the data productivity cloud, which features brand new version control capability here inside the Git menu. So Maya is generating some commit, push and publish notifications here in the menu. The data productivity cloud has a brand new version control capability in this Git menu. So you can commit these changes here where Maya can also generate these commit messages. So again, you can reduce the time spent on writing out these commit messages and improve your data productivity. So Maya isn't just about how you work. It's about transforming what you can achieve. Imagine completing a task like this in minutes rather than hours or days. That's the power of Maya's productivity gain potentially saving 10 times the manual effort. It democratizes data integration, empowering anyone who understands the language of their business to interact with Maya and get immediate relevant results. This fosters a true self-service environment where data engineers can focus on higher value tasks. Confident that Maya embraces data engineering and data ops standards right out of the box. And with its clear pipeline view and interactive chat, Maya makes complex AI actions explainable and transparent. Maya is ready to use in the Data Productivity Cloud today. For more Maya and Data Productivity Cloud videos, please subscribe to the channel. And to get started with Matillion, visit matillion.com.